WGA. Uh, we're about in the city of London today, near Farringdon, with uh, Scorpion Audit. And a big shout out to uh, West Audit Colts uh, as well. So we're, we're coming down to uh, the Italian Consulate, Consulate General of Italy, Farringdon Street, London. So, um, from what I've seen, um, I think the caravan area here, yeah, I'm not sure. It's a guy who was just stood outside then, I'm not sure whether he was a caravan area. But we, will, we shall find out. So there's the Italian consulate. Uh, there are embassies at Three Kings Yard. It's Farringdon Street. Got a secure looking building. There's European and the Italian flag. There's the security. Let's have a little look inside. Can I help you? No, we're fine, thanks. Sorry? We're okay. Yeah, can I help you? No, we're okay, thanks. Cup of tea would be nice. Sorry? Cup of, Cup of tea. tea, yeah, that'd be great. Sorry? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, here's an arm bar. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So look at this. <laughs> they closed yeah. it up. That guy, you see that guy stood behind there, he was police. Yeah. No cibo or bevande. No food or drink. Access to entrance is permitted only between Monday and Friday to appointment holders. There we go. Oh. There was an so, Italian policeman stood behind the counter yeah. there. So got, uh, oh, that's in Italian, though. Ah, Italian flag there. I'm not sure if it's uh, picking it up. I can see him, eh? Looks like it's coming up, so. Yeah, there he is, the policeman. Oh, look at his uniform. Look at his uniform. Yeah, you can see the guy's uniform. Maybe yep, those are that to open, some of that's gone through. Oh, he's gone there, the policeman, have he? Has that policeman gone? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Oh, it's coming out. Is that the policeman? No, that's security. Where's that policeman gone? The Carabinieri? He's gone. Yeah. I got some pics of him on the camera. Where's Mr. Carabinieri gone? The Italians got more rights then. This way. Ah, oh, let's turn the side of the country right here. See the Italian country back. Turn the back of the country, is it? Yeah. You know, City of London. Oh, so 
third entrance in half lane. What's that Caraman Airy guy doing? You filming us? <laughs> Mr. Carabinieri. I don't think he's coming out. So they have had some really poor reviews, to be honest, from Italian nationals. They've literally locked down the consulate for the cameras. Crazy. There is a Carabinieri in there. Mr. Carabinieri. Mr. Carabinieri, man. Is he still there? There he is, look. That Carabinieri guy don't want to speak, does he? I locked it down, mate. In there, the Carabinieri guy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Judge. All right. Is it closed? Yeah, they've locked it down because we're out here. Yeah. <laughs> they've literally locked it the place down because we're out here. We're just doing some filming. I noticed the guy from the Carabinieri inside. Okay. So I was just yeah, it's, it's uniform and everything. The red epaulets. <laughs> that guy inside, he is uh, with the red epaulets. He is Carabinieri, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know. I can't see him. No, because they closed it all down. Let me let me buzz through to the reception so there's people waiting outside. There's two gentlemen waiting outside. The Italian fly there. They're gonna let them in or not? What well, time? Yeah, they're closed. I think that's why. Don't want to help you, do they? Do they not? Do they not want to help you? We're, we're talking. Oh. Why are you feeling? Oh, I'm just filming. But I'm I'm coming to follow up on some reviews that I've seen online about the place. Uh, 
doesn't seem like they want to help anyone at all. Any Italian nationals even. I don't know what's being said over the phone. If we bring up some of the reviews of the place online. Let's have a look at the poor reviews because 2.7% of the reviews are up. Lowest. So passport re renewal requested for my for the guy's four year old daughter. Um, on May 17th, um, docs delivered clearly impossible to communicate uh, or even get any ex explanation from the embassy. Um, you better come uh, Friday. No one knows at the moment. Last week I received a message confirming the receipt of documentation from which apparently it might take another 30 days. Complete waste of time. Uh, they first emailed and arranged an appointment to issue the non-accompanied minor form for my son to go to Italy and see family. Uh, then once, the off uh, once at the office in London, then they told, told me that they couldn't issue the form because my son has a British passport. However, I clearly said my, in my email, I clearly said that in my first email. No apologies and very bad attitude at the office. After my wife and I took a day off to travel to the London office um, for the sake of their own mistake. Antonio Fellini. Thank goodness a passport only needs to be renewed every 10 years, a necessary bureaucracy. I feel lost every time I have to deal with nonsense like this. If you book an appointment in the afternoon, you're not allowed to pay the passport fees with a debit card. They only accept a postal order, like in the 50s. I got my postal order in advance with the total fees required on the website, uh, plus £12 of Royal Mail fees for issuing the postal order. But on the day of my appointment, the fees were changed because of the exchange rate and I literally ran to the closest post office to buy a new one. I applied online for my British passport. Mercurio Chiaramitaro. That was from. Um, Federica Gambarini, the Consulate General of Italy, has been total, totally unhelpful in helping me understand how to renew my Italian passport. It is a shame that in a city like London, we have a consulate that only works a few hours a day. Terrible reviews. I'm going to try and buzz back through. Could, could you answer to some of the appalling reviews that are on your that are on Google to your to your consulate from Italian nationals who have tried to renew their passports? Just oh, the Carabinieri guy's still there. Mr. Carabinieri! Can I speak to you, please? Can I speak to the Carabinieri, please? Absolutely shocking. Locked down the whole building. Let me see if people with cameras. But you can buzz through to the reception on there. These are useless. Look at the reviews on Google. They've only got two, they've got a score of 2.7. Anyone trying to renew their passports, trying to sort visas or anything like that, they're very unhelpful.
So they have got Italian police in there. Yeah. 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 Ask them about their low score and reviews. For helping Italian nationals. Absolutely appalling. Ask them about their low score and reviews. Do you need the consulate? Sorry? Oh, do you need the consulate? No, no, I just have waiting for my sons. Oh, they're in there, they're are they? Inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they might be are a you while. Wait for someone? No, no, we're just doing some bit of filming, uh, trying to follow up on the reviews that I've seen online about the Italian consulate, because there's a lot of Italian nationals oh. who have uh, reviewed this place quite poorly. They got a 2.7 score on Google, oh. and there's people saying that they can't get, it takes a long time to oh, get. It takes longer! Yeah. It's a bit slower! Yeah. Another British one. <laughs> uh, what I was saying is, it takes. It, people have been saying it takes a long time for to be able to process visas, passports. Yeah, 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 yeah. They waiting for. But uh, in some cases, we got. They are messed up. Oh, hello. How are you okay. doing? But they they, they got the passport today. But they, so, they, how long they did got, it take? No, the, the, we will wait think, for four months. The appointment, but the, the passport. They get the did the appointment get moved back? Yeah, the appointment. No, that was the only time available. That hmm. was the earliest we could do it. Do, do you think the hours could be longer here? Because the services could be better. The attitude of the staff. I feel like the staff was really good. It was hmm. friendly. It was asked like if you preferred Italian or English. Hmm. But, how about the uh, Carabinieri? How are they? Do you speak? Have they spoke to the Carabinieri? Yeah. The they are chill as well. Yeah, he didn't seem to have any problems. So. Well, it's good to hear because you you read up on reviews on the internet, and sometimes the reviews could be poor. They could be bad, bad reviews, and there's a number of bad reviews online. I feel like. Do you think yeah. some people might? Do you think some people who are coming here for services could be unprepared before they visit there? Yeah, definitely. Because there was people who brought all the documentation to some of the vice consulates in other parts of the country, like like uh, Birmingham and Manchester, and they got sent down to London even though they live in a different part of the country. That's, that's, you know, that's like, what I've been reading. When we got calls, it took us like five minutes to go through it. Yeah. Hmm. That was it. But it's brilliant to hear from a different perspective from Italian nationals anyway to see that things are... I was a little bit nervous to come because of that. I was like, oh, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to get some behaviors. I was a bit scared. But it was surprising. That's fantastic. So we're YouTube content creators. So people will see this now and then they might be more encouraged to come down to the Italian consulate hearing from people's yeah, point of view. I mean, that's your individual yeah. point of view. I suppose people could have a different yeah. perspective exactly. on it, but it, well, should, it should, should help be helpful. What would you recommend to anyone who's coming down to access consular services? What would you recommend to any, any Italians who are coming down to access consular services? Read the bed, even though like, they ask for quite a few things, mm -hmm. bring some documents in mind, they can right. uh, ask for it, right. uh, just to be prepared. Yes. Yeah. Definitely a second form of ID. 
Yeah, if you're doing your passport, the passport's not going to be valid on the unit in the house. Because yeah, the passport obviously if they're getting renewed, it's yeah, expired. Renewed, so, so. Ask for the passport and also a second ID. And it is to be quite recent. There we go. So you've, you've, heard it from, you've heard it from people who've used the services here at the consulate, everybody? It's been nice talking to you. It's been nice talking to you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Take it easy. There's some more people going in now. We've heard a bit of information from, from the Italians. They seem to be letting people in and they seem to be helping people. Um, from what I've seen. So I'm going to stand just cross over over here and get a photo from there in a minute. Yeah, okay. And see cyclists get by. We've had a couple of city uh, police cars go past the Amstrad. So, any problems, eh? Seem to have some problems, so I think we're going to leave this one here. We've had a good conversation with some people. Seen the Caribbean area in there. I think they're still in there, are they? Can't see him anymore, I think he's gone. I think that'll be about it. All right. Hi, Anya. Yes. Have you seen me? Seen videos, yeah. Oh, I bet you knew I'd come here. Some of them are still funny. Did you like? Did you see the German oh, embassy yeah, one? Yeah, of course. I've seen that one twice. <laughs> like the angry lady and the security guard. I mean, they've got police in there as well. Yeah. The Italian. I'm sure all embassies are police. I think. I don't think I've been to a few yeah. now, and they don't. They don't seem to always come out. I but. saw the ones where you were in Wales as well. That looks like police stations. And, and yeah, and in Nottingham as well. Oh, that Pacific. one was crazy. Yeah, the, Nottingham. Yeah, the, the gang master and labour abuse or something. That's it. Yeah, that's I it. I saw that one. Oh, brilliant. Well, nice to meet a fan. You too. Take it easy, my friend. That guy watches my channel. How's he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, this has been the Italian uh, Italian consulate. Uh, we've met a fan. Yeah. In London today. Uh, we've seen the Carabinarian there, although they seem reluctant to even say anything, to be honest, the guy did. I saw his uniform, he looked, he didn't he have like medals and things on there? Or some I sort didn't of patch or, so He looked like quite military, didn't he? Yeah. But that's yeah, how they, they're like military police, the though, aren't they? The, yeah. the Carabinarian military got the sash across yeah. him, and then, yeah, they're military police, the Carabinarian. So, uh, Carabinarian, Jean, Jean, uh, Gendarmerie, the uh, police force, which are like a military, military police. If you look, Gendarmes, if you've ever heard of them, they got them in France as well. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. A bit of a just a little uh, little one just to address a few issues with the consular services at uh, the Italian consulate, and we found out a bit of information as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Scorpion Audits, and we'll see you all in the next one. TGA out.